so I decided to do a little story time with you since my town is right now hosting Forge Fair for our county. Which, if you don't know what that is, the Forge Fair is pretty much where everyone in this county comes and shows off their pigs, cows, horses, uh, rabbits, chickens, hens, same thing, um, roosters, turkeys, gooses, ducks, what else? Pretty much all that. And, um, oh, I think dogs, too. And there's rides and and food and games, which that's what we're going to be talking about is games. Well, actually, one game in particular. So, this is kind of like a flashback. So, when I was younger, my grandparents once every year or twice a year maybe my cousin would come into town with her mom and her grandmother <clears throat> it was actually my grandmother's sister so that's how it was and they would come into town and they would spend a week a weekend here something like that they at first lived down in Tennessee and then when her mom married a new guy then they went all over the U.S. Right now they're in Georgia, so I don't know. They're all over the place, pretty much. But, um, they were still living down in t Tennessee at this time. And when they would come up here, I think all of us know what your cheese is, but that, like, it was my once a year thing. My grandmother, actually my grandparents, would all take us out to Chicken Cheese. It was inexpensive, pretty much. Or at least I remember back then it was because none of us ate the food. We just got the coins and went off and played, pretty much. I mean, we did it a lot younger when I was like a little bit taller, like I was like four, five, six, like really little. We did a lot of it, and then as the years went by. We only did it like once a year, so it was a little treat. Well, at Chuck E. Cheese, if you, I don't know if it's at all Chuck E. Cheese's, but at our Chuck E. Cheese, there was Ski Ball. That was like my game. I love Ski Ball. <laughs> like, whenever I would get it, I would spend literally 10 tokens on Ski Ball and have like a hundred tickets because of it. <laughs> like, that was my game. I loved it. I was good at it. Last year, I was still in guard, as many of you may know, I was in guard, color guard, and you saw my guard bag. Well, the man in the guard put, had this little booth in the 4-H, and they asked parents to come and do time, spend time there, like sell shirts excuse me, sell shirts, food, all this kinds of stuff. So my sister and my mother both went because, side note, me and my sister are 20 years apart. If you want to hear that story, the best way you like. But, so my little niece, who is only two years younger than me, so I'll surprise this story. So my little niece is only two years younger than me, and then my other little niece that's five years younger than me, we, I think we were all three there, or at least me and the youngest were there. And I was 17 at the time, she was 12. Brianna, who I'm talking about as my youngest niece, if you came from the vlogging channel, you would know her. If you wanted to see that, go to the vlogging channel and go to the playlist. June, I would have that in the playlist. I'll do that after this video. So... I think it was actually my sister was just there, and it was me, her, me, Brianna, and my stepbrother. So my stepbrother stayed with my sister, and me and Brianna asked if we could go wander around, because it was like, middle of the day, not really much people there. We didn't really think anything of it, like it was, actually it was more like 10 in the morning, so we really didn't think anything of it, like... 
who, what creepy person would be there at 10 in the morning? Well, I'll tell ya. We walk around, we look at the games, we look at the rides. I can't really ride many rides for some reason. I get really dizzy and really faint and like almost completely pass out, throw up. I have a lot of problems with rides, so I don't ride many rides. I may ride one or two, I may ride them once or twice, and that'll be it. I'm done for like the rest of the year. So I'm looking around the rides because I think I've ar- I think I already rode a ride that year or they weren't really up yet or something that it was really early but they weren't up yet, something like that. So we were just walking around seeing what games were open, what games looked fun, pretty much what could we do. And we came across the ski wall game. I'm like, awesome, this is so fun gray and this was like in the middle of the day where people like started getting up and started like getting around so there was a little bit of a group there's a little bit of a group surrounding there there i think there's like four or five machines there there was one person already on there a little girl and brianna and maybe the little girl's dad i can't remember there's four or five so there was always one left and we all paid perfectly fine and he never once said oh I'm sorry that one's broken you'll have to wait or I'm sorry one of you will have to wait or nothing like that nothing to give me the thing like and I was literally standing in front of this broken machine so I'm just like okay like we all paid and everything everything was perfectly fine so everyone else gets their bowls. I think it was like a girl about 12. No, actually I think she was about 10. Brianna's 12. This little girl is like 5, 6 at the most, 7. And then me or her dad. Yeah, you know. So I'm like, I literally looked over at the guy he was talking to one of his buddies, pretty much, or some girl. I don't, I can't remember what it was. But he was talking to someone. And I look at him and it's like, Excuse me, are we supposed to share? And literally does not look at me, does not even tell me anything. I'm like, and he just like waves. And I don't know if he's like waving at someone, waving at me, like any of that. So I'm like, okay, maybe he means yes I am supposed to share so I pick up a ball I literally go back to roll it I feel this someone grabs my wrist and I don't like people grabbing me I will not like people grabbing my wrist he never said the person that grabbed my wrist never said a word nothing like that when he first grabbed my wrist so I turn around with a fist, like, I'm going to punch you because you're grabbing my wrist and I'm going to protect myself. I see it's the carny guy. <laughs> and he's like, give that back to her. It's like, okay. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Here's this. And this has been a year, so my brain's a little scattered. My brain's always scattered, so... When he grabs my wrist and says, don't do that or give that back to her, whatever I just said, give that back to her, he reeked of alcohol and drugs, pretty much. And remember, this was like 11, 12 in the afternoon, like completely daylight and like, it's not like he's been drinking since nine in the morning like (laughs) what are you doing dude and he literally yanks it from my hand with his other hand puts like slams it down there and says follow me and literally drags me over to the thing he lets go of my wrist and goes back there and like I'm not following you back there like no like no, no, not doing that, no. 
So he's like, you need to wait your turn. You should be old enough to know that. I'm like, you didn't tell me. You told me to pretty much grab a ball and share with the little kid. That is what you told me. So I'm pretty much freaked out because A, you grabbed my wrist, which I already do not like. Like, no one grabs my wrist, pretty much. B, he tells me to follow him. C, he likes alcohol, so he's pretty much drunk. And, like, I don't know what he's going to do to me, what, like, does he really want me falling back there? And he goes back to talking to this person, luckily. He doesn't, like motion me back or anything like that so I literally stand beside Brianna and I'm just like shaking like I'm literally shaking and this 10 year old gets done um he's like now you can go now it's your turn and I just look at him <laughs> look at him and it's like thanks like still trying to be nice because I wanted him to like have his buddies get down me or something random like that. So, literally, it was like three balls, and if you didn't, like, you had to get like 200 points to win a prize or something random like that. So, I literally was like, da, da, da. Like, literally, just going through the motions and literally just got zero. <laughs> I just got zero. Because it was, like, so freaked out. I was like, I need to get out of here now. I've already paid for this. So I'm just going to hurry up and just throw them pretty much. And pretty much waste it. <laughs> waste my money. Because he was, like, so creepy. And I did not want to be there anymore. And, like, my little niece witnessed this whole entire thing. I'm just saying they're like... What? So after we both get done, literally I get done before her because I'm like, I'm throwing away these balls because I don't care right now. So I get done before she does. She gets done. And he's like, sorry. Like, he doesn't even say, sorry, you lost or anything like that. He just looks at us like, you can go now. It's like, okay, bye. Like, like <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? So we head back towards the band area, and my mom's there, my sister's there, and my stepbrother's there. So I'm not going to tell my mom because she's going to go bananas on that guy, and I really don't want a whole blow up in the middle of the 4-H and then her not letting me go ne this year or anything like that, so I keep that quiet. And I don't tell my sister because, again, she'll tell my mom and then huge blow up, so... I tried to tell my stepbrother. And this really isn't probably the creepy man story, but so my stepbrother is staying there with his ex and one of her friends. Um I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna walk up and whisper or tell them because I mean they're adults, so why not tell them? And they won't really make a big huge deal about they just will listen to me. And I go up there and start talking to them and remember I've never liked this ex because I feel like that you're here and she's way up here and no one can get to her level like that's how I feel towards her like that's her personality to me so I start telling Shelby what happened and of course she's listening in and so is her friend and she's like well, it could have been worse. My ex molester, rapist, whatever is here and he's following me and stalking me. And I'm just like I don't know to believe her or I think that she's one up me because she's done that before like I say one thing, she wants up it, like, directly, and she's like, and it's always started with, well, it could have been worse, or this was worse because it happened to me, 
and literally, here is the band, I'm gonna say tent, here is the police tent, right next to each other, and we're sitting in the middle of them. Why doesn't she go to the police tent then? And I literally was like, there's police officers right over there, you can go talk to them right now and tell them that. She's like, no, I don't want to get him in trouble. And that's like, one, you're making this up, that up, because, like, I get it, I don't want to go tell my parents, because, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm overreacting, I don't know, like, all this stuff, and literally Brianna's like, let's not tell them, you might be overreacting, let's just tell someone. That won't, like, blow everything up. That will just listen to us. That will protect us a little bit more. So, I first thing I think of is an older sibling. That's not as old as my, or my mother would be. So, I decide to tell my stepbrother, who is only 21 at the time. So, that whole entire day was just... <laughs> craziness and now I'm kind of like I don't want to go anywhere alone without a, a male figure or be an adult so today I went to the fair which I didn't vlog anything I didn't film anything nothing like that today I went to the fair and I had my stepmother around that and yes I know that probably didn't help, but he was a male figure, and he was an adult, so two for two. And the uh, girl wasn't around, so he could help me if something were to happen. So I will see you guys later. Like this video, like it. Comment down below if you think I should have told an actual adult or if I did the right thing or what and subscribe because there are some college videos coming up so see you guys later bye